Before DMX died, he told me, embrace my sins. Don't have to be perfect. God like when you be real. He don't like you to be like the Pharisees in the Bible and pray out and, you know, act like you perfect and self-righteous and act like you too good to be, you know, not perfect. That's the reason why he died for our sins. But he do want you to have a heart for God like the people he chose, the disciples, had a heart for God. David had a heart for God. He wasn't perfect. He loved women like a lot of us do. We, a lot of us lust for women, you know, but he had a heart for God. A lot of people seem perfect, but they, their hearts are far from God. My heart goes out to DMX family, his kids. He was the only rapper to quote scriptures after scripture after scripture. A lot of rappers mention God a lot, but they didn't never quote scriptures. And then they, they never openly admit their sins openly to a detail. And openly admit that they fighting demons. You know we fighting a spiritual warfare out here. Tomorrow night promise. You think you're going to eat the pizza that you're going to order in an hour? You think that's guaranteed? It's not guaranteed. We can die. We can choke over our spit. <coughs> we can die over our spit in any second. That next highway, we don't know if it's a drunk driver going to be on that highway. Nothing is promised. This world is so fragile. The only thing we have to give is love. The only thing we really have to give is love. We don't know what we don't know what the future holds. You think we know what the future holds? We don't. Nothing is promised. DMX showed us that it's a spiritual warfare going out here. He was fighting demons. Like we all are fighting demons. None of us are perfect. We all are fighting demons. We all are. It's time to get right. It's been time to get right with God. Only thing we got time to do is love each other, y'all. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's not judging people based on their money, based on their uh, their status, how big they behind is, how tall a guy is. I'm gonna invite this family member to the cookout because they got more money. They a lawyer and they a doctor. My soulmate work at McDonald's, but I'm gonna act like it's not. I'm gonna act like we not. I'm gonna act like that's not my soulmate because I want my soulmate to be working. For Wall Street, I want my soulmate to be a lawyer or be an NBA player or a nurse or doctor. I don't want my soulmate to work at at Walmart or Target or McDonald's or Wendy's. We're judging people based on materialisms. You only get one life to love. Make sure you love the person that you're supposed to love, that really love you back. Not just tolerating you. Many of us are in toleration ships. Be real with yourself. If everything, if all the money disappear in the world, wouldn't you want to be with somebody that you actually really can get along with? You don't want to exist. You want to live. When you're just comfortable and you get with somebody and force yourself to be with somebody just because they look good or because they got money or because they got status or material things or connections, you're just existing you're fake smiling. You're forcing yourself to have sex with them. You're forcing yourself to tolerate them. You are in a toleration ship. That's not a relation. You're tolerating them. Your soulmate could be at McDonald's. I know it sounds funny. I know that's not what you want. But life is all about growing together. And a lot of times God put us with each other. God put us... A lot of times God put us with another person that helps them and they help you in ways that you didn't even think that they can help you in it. DMX helped people in ways they didn't even know because he he spoke from his heart. He did speak from his heart. And you could feel it. He it was like Tupac opened the door for him and a few other rappers, mainly him. He was like the last version of a, a person that really spoke from their heart and admitted their faults. A lot of a lot of rappers speak sort of from their heart, but they they paint a perfect picture. DMX didn't paint a perfect picture for us. He let us know what he was struggling with. After he had sex with women, he asked them, "Why do you like me?" As girls that I know that had sex with DMX, they say he would sit us down and say, sit them down and say, "Why do you like me?" Why you, why you, 
What is it about me that you like? And they couldn't answer the question. Because it was the fame. No, he got a personality that's, you know, unlike most people. But you just, you know what I'm saying? He, he didn't like the fact that a lot of people was just drawn to his fame because he knew he had so much more to the world. He had so much to offer the world and, and you know, and people than just his fame. Even though he did smash them girls, he he still would let them know that it's more to me than just my fame. Thank you for liking my fame and thank you for giving me those cheeks. But it's more to me than just in fame than just fame. You gotta understand in this world, nothing is promised. Not, everything is fragile. Get with people that be, hang around people that really love you, that want to be around you. I'm Alan Williams, the Regionaire. Subscribe to all my YouTube pages, all my Instagram pages, and share this video. To, if you need somebody that, you know, somebody that's going through something and, you know, they fighting through something, we all fighting demons. DMX fought demons. We fighting a spiritual warfare, y'all. We got to stay prayed up. We got to ask for forgiveness. We already forgiven. God already died. He died. He got on there and got ripped up and whipped real bad. That none of us would have took that whooping for for people that, you know. That's some serious love to take that whooping and that type of beating and bloodshed where you your whole everything on your body was swollen. They couldn't even tell he who he was. They couldn't even tell who Jesus was. He was so swollen and whipped up. Didn't even look like a human. It just looked like it was just, just a meat. He did all that for us. Can you imagine? Can you imagine somebody doing all that for you? Can you imagine?